And hey, welcome back to the show. She's an Olympic silver medalist and one of America's top female freestylers, but we actually wanted to have her on the show today to talk about her smarts. While Lacey Nymeyer was winning NCAA championships at the University of Arizona, turns out she was also paying attention in class. Now she's one of the finalists for the NCAA Woman of the Year Award. That's one of the top honors for student athletes. And she joins us now on Skype from Tucson. Lacey, how you doing? I'm doing great, Peter. How are you? I'm doing well, thanks. So uh, you get good grades, apparently. <laughs> yes, I've worked hard in the classroom and in the pool. <laughs> what do you study? My degree, I just graduated in May in physical education. Okay, so you just graduated in May. Is that why you're up for the award this year? Because you actually, the last time people saw you in a college pool was a couple years ago. Right. You could apply for the award either after you finished your four years of eligibility or when you graduated. And so I applied when I graduated this May. Yeah, you were a little busy last summer. Didn't have yeah. Time. <laughs> well, that's pretty cool, though. You, you and uh, your parents must be proud. Yes, we're so excited. It's a great honor. Okay, when do you find out if you win and who are you going up against? Um, I don't quite know the other girls, but there are three other girls from Division One that I am, I guess, not really competing with, but finalists with. And I'll find out at the at the um, Woman of the Year banquet in Indianapolis the 18th of October. Well, we wish you luck with that. Thank you. Are you back in the pool? I am back in the pool, getting at it, and it feels great. What uh, what did you make of your summer? Were you happy with the way things turned out? I was. You know, I after the Olympics, I really, really put my focus towards school and graduating and, you know, that last semester with student teaching and then also trying to train. It was a really hard semester. And, um, you know, I to make the national team again and to go to Rome and to be on the relay and win a silver medal, I think that was a huge accomplishment seeing the kind of the struggles I went through that year after the Olympics. What, uh, that relay, it was an intense relay and it was a great battle back and forth with China. Right. Um, were you, I mean, what was the vibe for you? I mean, was silver good enough for you guys? Definitely not. I mean, we felt like we had the best team there and we were kind of surprised and disappointed that we didn't pull out the gold. But, you know, sometimes I think that's good because it makes you hungry and, you know, we definitely know areas that we can improve on. And I think that kind of just light relit the fire, you know, after the Olympics and then after this Worlds to really get after it and start you know, seeing what we need to do to be the best in all the relays for sure. What do you need? Where do you improve? I mean, you're, you're obviously world class. I mean, are there things that you still feel like you need to get better at? Or is it just a matter of doing what you're already doing? Oh, no, definitely need to get better. I love going to international meets and, you know, just, just watching some of the best in the world. And that's when you really see your faults and areas you can improve on. And one of the areas I feel like I can really improve on is... Um, not only my race strategy, but kind of training my body not so much uh, training smarter rather than just training more. Does that make sense? Yeah. I mean, do you, have you figured out what that means for you? For me, I think I'm going to look at every practice, every set, and try to, um, you know, try to imitate my race and put my race strategy into every single set rather than just the main sets where you try to focus on pace. But even when you're doing easy stuff, really getting that muscle memory of, okay, I'm going to build the first 100, I'm going to build this 50, I'm going to really put my legs in on this 25, you know, stuff like that, and starting to think more in practice rather than just, you know, grinding out laps. Is that something you think that just comes with age and experience maybe? It, uh, you, you can't quite get it when you're 20, but when you're you know, 25, maybe it starts to make more sense. <laughs> maybe, maybe you just kind of get more mature in the sport and realize that, you know, your body isn't a machine and you have to work with what you have. And I think now getting older, you realize the importance of the mental side of swimming and your mental preparation is 
more important than almost your physical preparation. So what's the next big meet for you? I know that uh, some people are unsure about what they're going to do this fall and winter since December's no, no longer a, you know, a placement meet, so to speak, for national teams. I mean, what's the next big meet for you? Um, you know, I'm going to go to the Texas Invite Invitational with the college team. You know, they've allowed us to come and train, uh, compete with them. So I think that'll be fun. I'm really looking forward to just getting in and swimming with the Arizona team again. I'm actually really excited about that. And then obviously next summer will be the big, the big competition that I'll be shooting for. Right. Well, Lacey, good luck with the training. Good luck with this award. We hope you win. Thank you very much. It was good talking to you. All right, that's Lacey Neimeyer joining us from Tucson. And that is it for our show today. Tomorrow on the show, Ariana Cooker is one of Lacey's relay teammates from there in Rome. So we look forward to that on tomorrow's show. Until then, I'm Peter Bush reminding you to keep your head down at the finish.